Alrighty, what well, morning everybody and cast time once again and let me go ahead and I'll intro this music. Um I've played this kind of music before. Those that have seen my other casts, uh this is gonna be Okay, I'm assuming they got the uh the band and titles uh flip flopped here, but the band is uh Beautiful Death. Again, those that have uh, seen my other casts know that I oh Usually I play these the first chance I get because uh, the music they play, it sounds nothing like the, nothing like their title, or it sounds nothing like the name of the band. You'll know what I mean when you hear this. I mean, when you first see it, you think it was like a, like a, a melodic or symphonic death metal out or symphonic or death metal band. It seems English is my second language right now. But anyway, this is their latest album, Beloved. Um, I think this either came out today or yesterday, so it's brand spanking new. And... Okay, I do gotta sound test it. Okay. Okay, so. And anyway, um. This, so this time around yesterday, I just played mostly Dragon Ball Fighters, and um, at least, at least until I managed to get another controller, cause um, this game here, it's less demanding on my um, on my controller than uh than Rev Three is, or yeah, than Rev Three is, Rev Two, Rev Two. I just knew I was saying that wrong. So it, anyway, cause um. Rev, Rev 2 is pretty demanding as far as uh, controller goes and stuff like that. There's like, there's a lot more motion inputs and you can't, you can't really uh, spam one button and stuff like that. So, and for those that don't know, um, my controller has most certainly seen better days now. I have to retire it and uh, get another. But the problem is, is controllers aren't cheap. Um, the one I, I think I've talked about this yesterday too, but uh, the one the one I'll probably need is uh, it's gonna cost like sixty bucks because uh, it has to be a wireless one. I mean, I gotta I can't be uh, I can't be constrained to a wire. And plus, uh, I don't the cords uh the cords I use they don't last that long. Um, after a while, because of uh, because of them being in the controller and me, you know, yanking the controller around and stuff like that, eventually the uh, the the port or the jack, it'll start getting all messed up, and uh, it'll lead to a lot of uh, sudden pauses in the action, as I'll get a pop up saying, "Please reconnect controller." So, pretty much have to go wireless. But anyway, um, but get, getting back getting back to the game. Um, just gotta be playing this now for a while. Um, and, uh, actually the way it's looking now, I might actually end up playing it even longer. Oh, hold on. I'm gonna, I gotta take a drink of some, uh, Arizona green tea. But, but yeah, um... And believe it or not, crazy as it might sound, I I spent a good I spent most of my night just um just uh, working on my blog post. I I did this the last time la the last time I was streaming uh, Dragon Ball Fighters. So there there must be uh there must be some deceptively good content in this in this game because like I said I. You know, like, well, you know, I, this is the second time I'm doing this now, basically spending most of my night trying to, you know, try to, try to type stuff down from my blog post about this game. So, but, um, one thing that, um, uh, a lot of the, a lot of what I did yesterday was story mode, and it just occurred to me, I didn't notice this the last time I was playing this, but, uh, it's, they, um, they really took a page out of the Door of the Explorer playbook. Because, in this game here, now it's, uh, 
it's it's actually uh oh, it's really hard to explain. Oh, it's I want to say they break the fourth wall a lot, but no, it's it's now that I think about it, it's like there wasn't even a fourth wall in the game at all. But uh, in, in this, uh, it, it's, it's kind of hard to explain the story mode because I can't really recall seeing seeing the uh, the narration style in any other game. Um, the closest being Planescape Torment, which they had all types of different uh, narration styles in there. I've got a feeling that um, Dragon Ball Fighters' narration style is also uh, in Planescape Torment as well, but, uh... But, uh... You, the player character... You, the player yourself... Is, um... Is actually... You're basically literally put into this universe. But, uh, they'll... You know, they'll say, you know, it's... But like I said, it's very hard for me to explain. But, uh, they, uh... They interact with you, the player, a lot. You don't have an avatar. You know, you don't have a, a character in game. So, yeah, so they, they'll interact with you. Um, you're... I think some kind of... Some kind of cataclysmic event occurred. And, um... Clones all of a sudden appear. And now, uh... All the good guys are... All the... The big movers and shakers are all being quote unquote linked with you. So lots of uh well since you have full control of my body, don't waste it or don't abuse it, you know, stuff like that or Actually now that I think about it, well I wait that's gonna that's gonna screenshot. No. Well I guess uh since I actually have the game up and running That was a screenshot. And whoops! It may just as well have been. Totally forgot. This game is like Rev 2. If the game's running, and if you turn the uh if you turn the external speaker on or off, it completely kills the sound in game. So But like I said, since I'm here. Go ahead and reboot that. So that got off to a bad start. Alright, so it's gonna take a moment for it to come back up. If it even does. So But I mean, but yeah, this is but like I said, I can't recall any other game I played where they do this. I mean, usually usually what I'm used to is just like most other MMOs, like you're you know, you're playing the character. Everybody interacts with that character. You know, and not you. And, um, then if you want to respond to that, you know, your your interactions with other players. Uh, Final Fantasy XIV comes to mind. You're basically just given a multiple choice question. You know, yes, no, maybe, fuck you, asshole. Ask me later, you know, that kind of thing. And then you pick one of those responses and they'll, you know, and they'll give you a text response based on that. I mean, so, but, uh, it's starting to fire up right now. computer didn't restart. No, never mind, never mind. I'm, I'm still hearing the music. Sorry, my screen just went completely black. Um, where is uh There it goes. I guess it helps if I'm uh, actually on the game. I'm 
just gonna play offline. I'm hoping it'll uh, get me into the game quick, because I'm not looking for servers or anything. I guess while I'm here, this is something else, too. I don't... I can't really recall any other game I played that has this. Most every other game I played, it's just the, uh, it's the good guy storyline. Yeah, you somehow inhabited Goku's body, which is as confusing to you as it is for Bulma. So, like I said, I can't recall a game where where you have this. And then you also have, uh, once you complete the, uh, the good guy story arc, you can also do the bad guy story arc. Which, uh, in this game here, they really, they really aren't the actual, they really aren't the actual bad guys. Or they kind of are. I mean... They're kind of against each other. Then you have the, the Android 21 arc, who, who is the real bad guy in the game. Or bad girl, I should say. So, but you can actually, uh... You can actually do uh, bad guy storylines in here. Now, it should also be said, too, that another game called Dynasty Warriors, it's a whole franchise, you could kinda do it. Um, that game there is based on a book. My all-time favorite book, so I'll add to that, is called Romance of the Three Kingdoms. So, you can basically, in that game there, you can choose to play one of those three kingdoms. You know, but not, there was no... Maybe like in the, in the, the early renditions of Dynasty Warriors, you had, a, you had a good guy kingdom, you had a bad guy kingdom, you had a neutral kingdom. Maybe that, but over the years, they've, um... Uh, They've made them all more or less the same, but but that's about the extent of it. Again, I can't recall any other games where you can you know you can play a bad guy storyline. I mean, every RPG MMO I played, you're always playing as the good guys. So but let me uh. I'll go ahead and pick continue. So let's. I'll just go ahead and pick him. He's the guy you start with. And what's happening here? So what what's going on right now is um you're I mean again you're you the player are inhabiting this guy's body and so you're having a you're having like this this internal conversation between you and him and um all the other characters as you play them more and more level them up you'll have um you'll have more you'll have more access. Just watch your opponent. Yeah, and it, it should also be mentioned too that all of it is it's a bit on the creepy side as well but part of that too is just because I'm not used to it but um each each character has this and again the uh, the more you level them up the more you'll have access to this Yeah, 
I could probably, I could probably leave it as is. Okay, but anyway. But yeah, like I said, um, last time I played this game, this is what I, this is what I was doing, spending a good chunk of my time just uh, trying to um, write some more stuff in my blog about about this game, because. You know, story mode, story mode being one example of many, they do a lot of things differently. And then there's the, um, and then there's the fact that, uh, the controls in this game are a lot easier. In fact, in case I didn't say it at the start of this cast, um, the reason I'm going with this game is because it's less demanding on my controller. Um, I said this in yesterday's cast, too. You can you can just spam one single button and you'll get off a full fledged combo. And uh, the game does have motion inputs. Well, I guess um. Well, I guess since I'm here. There you go. That's the extent of it. Um, unlike Rev Two, the the most complicated you're going to have to deal with is just a simple down forward or a down back. But you're not going to have to deal with, like, uppercut motions, you know, forward, down, and then down forward. You're not going to have to deal with half circles, or you're not going to have to deal with, like, a half circle back, then forward. So there's nothing real, nothing real rocket science about this in a and then stuff like this, now that I also think about it, it's, uh, it's also a little more D-pad friendly. A little bit. Because, again, the only real motion input you got on here is just uh, down to forward, down to back. And plus, they're all the same, too. They don't get any more, so all the special moves are all on one page. So in that context, it's kind of like Fantasy Strike as well. Fantasy Strike's moves are like that as well. Like all the characters' moves are on one page. It isn't like like Street Fighter 4, for example, where all their moves are on like two or three pages. Anyway, I'm taking another drink. And I think uh there's another one that uh some of these also have down down but yeah like I said that's it so oh yeah no nah. nor are there any uh, full 360 motion inputs I think um I think rev 2 has a, has a few I think Jacko has one I can't remember who else does though So, but like I said, it, this this game is way more controller friendly. Um, if and when I do manage to get another controller, I'll probably have to make a decision. But hell, I mean, with the story, you know, with the story mode that I just talked about, I I might actually stick around a little longer. Oh, and that's something else too that I forgot to mention. Um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do it here. Cause that means you gotta go through a whole metric ton of cutscenes, but um, this game does have New Game Plus. But yeah, it's it's got New Game Plus. Um, you complete you know you complete the story once, you can take those very same characters that you got and do it again. In fact, uh, now that I think about it, I think it's a requirement. Like, like if uh, if you want to get some more of these, uh, I forget the actual technical name for them. But yeah, if you wanna if you wanna unlock any more of these uh, these events, you're gonna have to level them up. I think uh, every every ten levels you level them up. You'll get one. So, so Goku's got one. Goku's got three of them, but you also start the game with them. He 
You start with uh, Vegeta way later on, so he ain't got any. Same with him. I think you start with him fairly early, too, so he's got three of them. And Krillin, you get him a little later. Yeah, he ain't got none. You got to get him later. So, yeah, doing a uh, new game plus is pretty much mandatory. said um whenever a new beautiful death album comes out i always play it just i like i like bands that surprise me because once again you think with a name like this it'd be like melodic death metal or symphonic satanic metal or something like that but no it's like acoustic so but anyway um that's gonna do it for me this morning uh, i pretty much said all the things that i wanted to say so i'll just go ahead and call it good uh, but thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And um, I should be able to do this again tomorrow. There was something else I was wanting to say. Nope. Totally forgot what it was. But anyway, I'll see you all next time. And take care.